Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out another episode of Kenny's Record Collection. Today's gonna be a really, really special episode. I just received a package in the mail today and uh, it's something really cool. I can't wait to show you guys. And uh, first off, in honor of this unboxing, I have my Cliff Burton IPA. Uh, this was made by a company called Calicraft in conjunction with the company Knuckle Bones, who produced this item that I'm going to open right now. So crack a beer with me, guys, in memory of Cliff Burton. Cheers. That's good. I've been saving that for this special occasion. So here we go. Yeah, Knuckle Bones is a company that makes um, rock and roll related statues. All different bands license their uh, images to this company. Uh, there's some really amazing Misfits related ones. You know, the Jerry Only Misfits. But there's also um, a really cool horror business themed uh, statue. There's uh, Earth AD. Uh, there's also many other bands like ACDC, um, Death. Um, a lot of different bands are working with this company because they make really, really high quality statues. So here we go. All right, there we go. Pack nice and tight. Stupid thing. Um, wow. See it already. The Cliff Burton logo it says Burton Cliff them all. This is heavy. Wow. Really nice, really nice packaging. Look at the back of Cliff. Then you got, I can't read it. You're going to have to read it because my eyes are terrible right now. I don't have glasses on. But look at that really sick pose. That's how the front is gonna look. There you go. I believe these images of Cliff were from the Castle Donington show that they played in 1985. It was one of their really, really, uh, it was one of their early, really high profile shows. And, you know, they, they just destroyed. I have a nice bootleg record of that show. Um, here we go. Uh, open this nice and slow. Uh, hope I don't drop it. All right. It's coming out. Little by little. Okay. Very cool box, so I love it. Look, the inside of the box, very sick. All right, here we go. Whoa. So it's, it's in two pieces. Very sick. All right, let's see if I can do this. Really, really nice, heavy, heavy, heavy duty base right here. Oh boy, look at that. This is the base. Of course it says Burton Cliff them all. It's got skulls all around it. Really nice detail. Every skull seems to, to be different, which is really cool. I just love that that extreme attention to detail. And you got that diamond plating right there, that steel um, look. And then this is like a monitor. Cliff would always put his, his leg up, his foot up on the monitor while he's playing. And uh, there's your uh, certificate of whatever. Uh, it says this one is number 712 of 3000. Um, I don't know if there are still any more of this. I'm assuming there are. 
I mean, how many lunatics would have ordered this? I mean, we shall see. Wow, okay. Here's the actual statue. Look at that likeness of Cliff. Uh, check out the beer. It's the same, <laughs> same image. The Castle Donington show. He's playing the, the Aria Pro. The Aria Pro bass, which at that point was his go-to. He was also playing in a Lembeck, but then I believe that got stolen around 1985. Look at that. It's just so sick. Look at the detail on the bass guitar, the gold hardware. Uh, Aria Pro actually a few years back worked with the Burton family and released Cliff Burton's signature Aria Pro model. Cliff, it's got the right hair, the denim jacket, the shirt, he even has the Misfits shirt on. As you could see, Cliff is gonna be happy, post it up in my basement because the Misfits logo is everywhere. Oh man, even the jeans, legit 70s Levi's bell bottoms. And the sneaker, Cliff wore these, um, they're not Adidas, I'm not sure what brand they were, but very cool, like, just running shoes. Super 7's figure has Cliff in boots, which I don't really feel was appropriate, I don't know. We'll see what they do with the, um, that deluxe one they're coming out with. There are even treads on the sneaker. I believe there's treads. It looks like treads. I don't know if that was intentional or not. And then that's the part that goes into the base. The base of this thing. Um, yeah, I love it. I mean, his his hand positioning is correct. Um, everything just looks so legit. I mean, his face is really, really good. Really brings out, you know, his essence. I love it. The strap. It's, it's the proper strap. I would have loved to see. I know he didn't have it at this show. But at uh, what show was that? That other show where he had the skull on his bass strap. Uh, that was like a show they played in Germany. Really, really cool. All right, I'm going to put it on the bass now. Here we go, Cliff. Bass solo, take one. Oh man, and he, and he just lays right in perfectly. Look at that. I mean, if you can get yourself one of these, I mean, they're not cheap, but just look at that pose, man. It would have been cool if they uh, put, put some debris on the stage, because at that show, people were throwing, not to be dicks but they were throwing just all kinds of stuff on the stage there's certain photos you could see where there's just like bottles and just anything you could think of just laying on that stage and Metallica just plowed through and made such an impression on everyone and you know that was I would have loved to have seen that show so yeah let me know what you think man I mean Cliff Burton he's my all-time favorite musician. His work still inspires as, as little, you know, as he was able to put out. Everything he did is pure, you know, pure gold, you know. The man loved all kinds of music from Bach to the Misfits to just really Thin Lizzy, everybody. He, he loved everything that was cool. So that's it, man. Cliff Burton, rest in peace. Knuckle bones, you did a great job. If you could subscribe to my video, uh, subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment, let me know what you think. Tell me if you have any of these statues. Uh, they made statues of all the other guys in the band, but you know, I'm such a Cliff guy. This is the only one I really need. So yeah, that's it. Thank you, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.